हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर वैशाली जामड़े आई एम वर्किंग एज अ सीनियर कंसल्टेंट एंड यूनिट हेड ऑफ ब्रेस्ट कैंसर सर्जरी एट राजीव गांधी कैंसर इंस्टीट्यूट एंड रिसर्च सेंटर डेली टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट ब्रेस्ट कैंसर ब्रेस्ट कैंसर इज द कॉमनेस्ट कैंसर अफेक्टिंग वीमेन वर्ल्ड वाइड एज वेल एज इन आर कंट्री इन इंडिया एज वेल वर्ल्ड वाइड नियरली सेवेंटीन लैक और वन पॉइंट सेवन मिलियन न्यू केसेस ऑफ ब्रेस्ट कैंसर आर डायग्नोज इन वीमेन एंड इन इंडिया एज वेल नियरली टू लैक न्यू केसेस ऑफ ब्रेस्ट कैंसर आर डायग्नोज हाउ एवर द सिचुएशन इन वेस्टर्न कंट्रीज एंड इंडिया इज वेरी डिफरेंट इन इंडिया नियरली सेवेंटी परसेंट ऑफ वीमेन हु प्रेजेंट विद ब्रेस्ट कैंसर आर प्रेजेंटिंग विद एडवांस स्टेजेस ऑफ द डिजीज एंड एज अ रिजल्ट डिस्पाइट a good treatment uh, you know protocol majority of the patients succumb to the disease nearly 50% of the patients die because of breast cancer because they are diagnosed at a very advanced stage of the disease the um, important reason for this difference in the situation in western countries and india is because of lack of awareness about breast cancer in our country and this is what we need to change the uh, important risk factors for development of breast cancer are female gender in itself is the most important risk factors uh, the other important risk factors are obesity early menarche that means early onset of periods and late menopause nulliparity that means not having children at all no breastfeeding smoking alcohol consumption for on a very regular basis and lack of physical activity another important risk factor in nearly 5 to 10% of breast cancer patients is genetic abnormality some women inherit a genetic mutation from either their mother's side or father's side which makes them at a risk of development of breast cancer now let us talk about the important or common symptoms of breast cancer the commonest symptom with which many patients present to me with breast cancer are uh, is the painless lump in the breast the other breast other breast cancer related symptoms are blood stained nipple discharge um a lump in the armpit nipple retraction so if there is there if a woman notices such symptoms in the recent times then it is very critical for her to consult a breast surgeon immediately whenever a patient comes to me with breast related symptoms my job as a breast cancer surgeon is to properly diagnose her so i do that with triple assessment what is triple assessment triple assessment includes a thorough clinical examination of both the breasts and armpit areas or underarms then an appropriate radiological investigation either it could be in the form of mammography or ultrasound and a biopsy or a pathological investigation usually we advise a core needle biopsy if there is any suspicious lump in the breast and uh, usually whenever the patient presents to us and if she is diagnosed with breast cancer within a week or so generally all the investigations are complete and then we discuss the patient's case in our multidisciplinary tumor board and the best treatment plan is formulated for a particular patient so when we talk about treatment of breast cancer it incorporates surgery chemotherapy radiotherapy targeted treatment endocrine therapy and immunotherapy the treatments which are needed for one particular patient depends on the stage of the disease the biological profile of the disease patient's age and the tolerance of the disease so no two patients of breast cancer will have a similar treatment and it does not mean that all the patients who are diagnosed with breast cancer will need all these treatments it is not so and when we talk about the surgery uh, for breast cancer it is a common myth that a patient who is diagnosed with breast cancer will have to lose her breast no it is not so whenever a patient presents with a early stage of breast cancer we can do breast conservation surgery 
and with the new oncoplastic breast surgical techniques we can uh, give cosmetically pleasing symmetrical breasts after the end of breast cancer surgery in patients who present to us with early stage of breast cancer so that is the importance of getting diagnosed at an early stage uh, so what are the steps which are required for a diagnosis of breast cancer in early stage the steps are being aware about breast cancer regular self breast examination we all the women have to learn how to do breast self examinations so that if somebody notices some change in the breast then she can immediately consult a appropriate doctor and a uh, delay in uh, you know consulting a breast cancer surgeon or an appropriate oncologist can sometimes be very detrimental to the health of the patient many a times patients ask me about how to prevent breast cancer let me tell you that breast cancer cannot be 100% prevented however we can reduce the risk of developing breast cancer in our in our bodies by doing certain lifestyle related modifications so what are those modifications we as uh, uh, every woman has to be physically active by doing a regular physical activity at least 3 to 4 times a week for at least 20 to 30 minutes and it it should be it should not be that the household chores are considered to be physical activity we have to do some specific physical activity which we will enjoy and uh, do in a on a very consistent manner so it could be brisk walking it could be swimming it could be some some sport or whatever whichever activity you enjoy you must undertake that active physical activity you should avoid smoking and uh, consumption of alcohol on a regular basis and avoid use of external hormones without a valid prescription of a doctor and these external hormones should not be taken for a long time without consulting an appropriate doctor then in case if you have a breast related symptom then do not hesitate to consult an appropriate uh, doctor and get yourself examined as well as investigated if some investigations are suggested so on this world cancer day my message to all of you will be to be aware about breast cancer related symptoms and consult an appropriate doctor immediately if you notice any change and get investigated breast cancer if it is diagnosed at an early stage can be completely cured and the lady with early stage breast cancer does not even need to lose her breasts thank you